Hello, today we will discuss about superposition of two waves. We will derive this equation which represents the resultant waves after the superposition of two waves y1 and y2. Superposition and wave equation. If two sinusoidal waves of the same amplitude, the same wavelength, travel in the same direction along a straight string, they interfere to produce a resultant sinusoidal wave traveling in their direction. Now let's suppose we have two waves y1 and y2. These two waves y1 and y2 will overlap each other and produce a new wave which is known as the resultant wave. Okay, let's first we will discuss a little bit about wave equation. The wave equation is given as yxt is equal to ym sine kx minus omega t. This equation represents a wave and this wave is a function of position and time. This x represents the position and t represents the time. Equal to ym sine kx minus omega t. This is small m. And this ym is the amplitude where the k is the wave vector and omega is the angular frequency. This term, the amplitude and this is known as the phase. Using this equation, we can um, derive different quantities. Uh, and this equation carries the detailed information about the waves. Okay, let's suppose we have two waves. One is y1 xt is equal to ym sine kx minus omega t. And the second wave is xt, yxt is equal to ym sine kx minus omega t plus pi. Here this pi is the phase difference between wave 1 and wave 2. When the superposition occur between the y1 and y2, we will get a resultant wave y which will be equal to the sum of y1 and the sum and y2. Now let's put the value for y1 and y2 in this equation. y1 is equal to this term and y2 is equal to the second wave which is equal to this term. We will get y is equal to ym sin kx minus omega t plus ym sin kx minus omega t plus pi. Now the ym, the amplitude is common between these two terms. We will take ym common from this equation. We will get y is equal to ym into sin kx minus omega t plus sin kx minus omega t plus pi. Now here. Let's consider this term as alpha and this term as beta. And we have a trigonometric equation which states that sin alpha plus sin beta is equal to 2 sin 1 over 2 alpha plus beta cos 1 over 2 alpha minus beta. Expanding this equation using this trigonometric relation, we will get y is equal to ym2 sin 1 over 2 kx minus omega t. This is kx minus omega, uh, this is alpha kx minus omega t plus kx minus omega t plus pi which is beta into cos 1 over 2 into alpha and this time minus beta. This is kx minus omega t minus into kx minus omega t plus pi. Further simplifying this equation. Now here in this equation this kx and kx will add up we will get 2kx 2kx minus omega t and minus omega t will become minus 2 omega t and now cos 1 over 2 kx minus omega t this kx minus omega t minus kx minus omega t plus pi this minus will multiply with plus this will become minus kx this minus and minus will become plus and this minus plus will become further simplifying this kx will cancel with this minus kx minus omega t will cancel out with plus omega t. And here this 2 will cancel with this 2 and this here will cancel with this 2 we will be left with pi by 2. Now we have y is equal to ym 2 sin kx minus omega t plus pi by 2 cos 1 over 2 kx minus omega t minus kx plus omega t into minus uh, and minus pi. Simplifying this equation, we will have y is equal to ym2 sin kx minus omega t plus pi by 2 cos minus pi by 2 and cos minus 
x is equal to cos x so we don't need to write this minus sign here so simply we write it as cos pi by 2 this is the final equation which we have derived for the resultant wave after the superposition of two waves y1 and y2 rearranging this equation we have y is equal to 2ym cos pi by 2 into sin kx minus omega t this 2ym cos pi by 2 is known as the amplitude of this resultant wave and this is the base angle that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy edu for more videos thank you